from the Exports Network. This is the final score. Welcome to the final score. I'm Major Good. Starting things off with a very busy day over the Class A State Volleyball Tournament in Blackman. The first game of the day featured Summertown and South Green as the Lady Eagles are trying to keep their season alive by one more game. First game of the day featured the Lady Eagles taking on South Green. Here in the first set, Abby Jo Schaefer getting things going here, slamming down the kill. Then later, Schaefer again here in the first set, right down the middle, tips it over and in. Then Schaefer going to work once again here in the first, tips that one over and again as it would eventually drop in. Then Millie Emerson is going to come away here with the kill, one of 10 she would have on the match. Then at the end of the first set, it's Schaefer again. Another kill tips it over and in as they take the first set 25-18. to 18. Here in the second, more from Schaefer slamming that one down. Then it's Schaefer again. Here in the second, gets that one down once again. Then Izzy Garland going to serve this one up and drop that one down for the ace. Schaefer going to work here in the second once again. Tips it over and in. The Lady Rebels had trouble stopping this one in the match. Then Schaefer, that time with the power, coming away with the kill as the Lady Eagles would take the second set 25-11. to 11. Here in the third, more from Schaefer. That kill falls in one of a game-high 29 in the match. Then Schaefer with some defense, one of her three blocks in the match. Then Ellie Lou Mason. Going to come away with the kill. She would have four against the Lady Rebels. And some more good defense here from Schaefer. Another block. That one would fall in. Then at the end of the match, it's Maddie Huffstetter. She'll come away with the kill. Lady Eagles would take the third set, 25-18. And the match, three sets to zero. After that, the Lady Eagles played in the 430 game as they were trying to get into the state semifinal at 7 o'clock. Lady Eagles trying to keep their season alive as they were taking on the defending state champs in Sail Creek. Here in the first set, the freshman and Izzy Garland gets things going, splitting the Lady Panther defense with the kill. Then Abby Jo Schaefer picking up where she left off earlier with another kill. Then Schaefer back to work here in the first. That one right inside the line. Then another kill from Schaefer. That one would go in. And Schaefer going to work one more time here in the first. Another kill. The Lady Eagles would take the first set 25 to 21. Here in the second, more from Schaefer. Another kill that falls through. Then Schaefer back to work. Going up and over, putting it right where Sail Creek is it. Then Millie Emerson, who had a big day, gets that kill just inside the line. Then Emerson again, right down the middle, slams that one down for the kill. Then at the end of the second set, it's Gabby Long going to come away with the big block. The Summertown would take the second, 25 to 21. They would drop the third in the fourth here in the fifth. Schaefer gets that kill to fall through. Then Emerson with some really good defense. She'll come away here with the block. Later, Emerson Franks going to serve this one up and drop it in. One of her three aces in the match. Then Emerson going to come away here with another kill. She would finish with 18. And at the end of the set, it's Schaefer. One of her 25 kills, that one goes in as the Lady Eagles advance. Taking the fifth set, 15 to nine, and the match three sets to two. Now over to Loretto, where the Lady Mustangs are playing in the state semifinal on Thursday afternoon, taking on a very tough East Robertson team, a team they knew would give them quite the battle. Loretto and East Robertson meeting up for a spot in the state championship game on Friday on the line. Here in the first set, Mallory Corbin, one of her 13 kills on the match. Then Allie Weathers, the start of a big day, a thunderous kill there. Then Becca Heineman, the left-hander getting in on the action as that one lands just inside the line. Then another kill here from Weathers. That one would go in, and at the end of the first set, East Robertson would hit this one in the net. Loretta would take the first 25 to 18 after dropping the second and third. Here in the fourth, Weathers gets it over and in. Weathers, the start of a big fourth set, another thunderous kill. Weathers again would get that one tipped over and in. Once again, more here from Allie Weathers. Another kill. And at the end of the set, after a big comeback here from Loretto, Aubrey Zell is going to push this one over and in. They would take the fourth 25 to 23. In the fifth, the Lady Mustangs would dominate. Weathers, one of her 28 kills here on the afternoon. Then Heinemann, 
Going to come away here. Is that kill? Just got it over, and it fell in. Then Sophie Weathers going to come up with one of her six kills on the afternoon. Then Heinemann, the kill, the seal, the deal. One of her 12. The Lady Mustangs would take the fifth set, 15 to 9, advancing to the state championship game, three sets to two. Oh, man, that, that's what you want out of a team as a coach. Um, I can't be any more proud of them. You know, we're not done yet, but that, you know, that's huge. That's a big deal. That's what I talk to them. It's, it's hard enough to win. It's hard enough, harder to win when you're backed against the wall. You're down two sets to one, and you pull through the way they did. And coming out in that fifth set, like they talked about between set four and five, that like we were not losing that match. That was their mentality, and and you could tell a clear difference there. Set four on that that we're not we're not letting the ball drop. We're swinging. We're being aggressive. We're in control. That's what we talked about. Is, who's in control of the match at that particular time. Uh, and the last thing was just taking it point from point. You know, they scored, we watched it, we started, moved to the next point. We scored, enjoy it, move to the next point. After winning back-to-back -back games, Summertown was trying to make it a hat trick and get their name into the state championship on Friday afternoon. Final game of the day as the Lady Eagles took on East Robertson for a spot in the state championship game on Friday. Schaefer gets things going here for Summertown, slamming on the kill. Another one here from Abby Joe that the Lady Indians just can't stop. The Millie Emerson goes up and slams it down for the kill. Then another kill here from Emerson, but East Robertson would take the first set 25 to 19. Back comes Summertown in the second. Some good defense from Abby Joe as that falls in for the block. Then Schaefer coming away here with a big kill just in front of the Lady Indians. And Annie Lee Kelly getting in on the offense, slaps it over and puts it where East Robertson just wasn't. Back comes Schaefer. Another kill that can't be stopped. And at the end of the second set, Emerson Franks drops it in for the ace. Summertown ties it up, taking the second 25 to 19. Here in the third, more from Schaefer, slamming that one down. And Schaefer going to work again here in the third. Tips that one over and in. Then the freshman, Izzy Garland, going to serve this one up and drop it in for the ace. Still in the third, more from Schaefer. Coming away with another kill, but East Robertson would take the third, 25 to 21. Here in the fourth, Garland here in the corner. Gets that one to go for the kill. Then Schaefer back to work. Down the middle and a kill that can't be stopped. Then another one here from Schaefer in the third. This time right inside of the line. Schaefer again, another kill. She would finish with a team high 26. But at the end of the match, Summertown was called for being in the net. East Robertson would take the fourth set 25 to 21. And in Summertown season, winning the match three sets to one. If you had told me with one senior starting in July that we would be third in the state, I don't know that I believed you. Um, but they just showed that lots of things, challenges were along the way, but they were able to be resilient and step in and finish strong. And I told them, I said, if you got to lose, you want it to be somebody that's good. And this team was a great team, and, and we just, you know, sometimes they don't go your way. But I'm super proud of them and, and the season we've had. Now over to high school football where Loretto was back in action on Thursday night. They were taking on Waverly at home as they were trying to keep their playoff hopes alive. Loretto trying to get back in the wing column as they were hosting Waverly on senior night. Here in the first quarter, Mason Tibwell gets things going, calls his own number, cuts through the Waverly defense. He takes it in from 26 yards out as the Mustangs lead it 7 to nothing. Still in the first, McDell. Gonna flip it Swims out it McDowell. out here to Nicholas McDowell, cuts and McDowell is going to do the rest. The Weaving now, in and out and of traffic, nobody there. He would take it 71 way. yards to the house as Loretto five. leads 14 to nothing. Moving ahead now to McDowell. the second quarter, almost the same play. Tibwell throws out a screen here to McDowell. He will do the rest. Weaving in and out of traffic again. This time takes an in from 40 yards out as Loretto would lead 21 to nothing at the half. Moving ahead here to the third. McDowell continuing his big night. Makes a handoff over the left side. He does the rest, breaking a host of tackles. He would get it in from 38 yards out to make it 28 to nothing. Now leading 28 to six. Tibwell off the play action. Finds an open Hunter Smith for the 18-yard touchdown connection to make it 35 to six. Still in the third, Tibwell 
just trying to get swings out it out to Corbin up. Reynolds. Reynolds. He's going he to make a couple guys miss. A couple of beautiful moves the up the field, and he would a cruise man, into the end zone from 81 Reynolds. yards out. It's all from Loretto from there as they went at 42 to 13. That does it for the final score of a great day. We'll see you guys once again tomorrow. This is the X Sports Network.